who have you brought over in terms of your squad or who have you left behind? Well, El Hamed has he stayed. Um, you know, out of the guys who had the COVID beat on and Edward have travelled. Are they are they ready to play? Are they up to speed enough to play? They're up to, they're up to speed to play, you know, a part in the game, but whether we start them or not, you know, again that's something we'll have to assess. I don't think we can start the both of them, but uh, they'll definitely be available to play some role in the game. You've obviously spoke to them. How are they? How are they feeling after the after the virus? Um, you know, Nier had it sort of pretty heavy in terms of how much it took out of him. Uh, physically, he's uh, getting there. Odson, it's not been too bad for him, and uh, you know he seems pretty strong with it now. Uh, he's had a few few days longer than Nier in terms of uh, training with the the boys and training on his own. So. Um, I think it took more out of Nier than it would have done Odson. El Hamed, you know, he seems to have recovered quite well and you know, hopefully he'll be available at the weekend. Is Vasilis Barkas with you? He is, yeah. yeah. And has he recovered from his injury? He's got, uh, the back seems to be okay. He's got just an ongoing shoulder issue, but um, nothing too strenuous. You obviously had a bit of a go yesterday, Neil. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Yeah, we trained well at the stadium, so the team's picked and, um, you know, went through a, bit, a few bits and pieces. The boys are good, you know, the spirits are good. We've had a quite a short flight, you know, and um, just looking forward to the game. It's going to be a very, very difficult challenge. They're one of the top teams in France. I think the Champions League quality, so we, we have to play very, very strongly tomorrow evening. And finally, for me, how would you compare them to AC Milan? It's a good question. It's difficult to tell until you really see them up close. Um, I think the group's still open. Um, we we need to get something positive from the game tomorrow, really, to get a foothold in the group, and that's what we'll try and do. So it's, it's difficult to compare the different styles and you know different formation as well. Bill, is there a benefit to to yesterday for you personally? Just you were, you spoke with real passion and determination. Do you feel kind of not reinvigorated by that, but you no? Know, in a better frame for, for moving forward because you've kind of said your piece? I wasn't in, you know, a, a poor state of mind. You know, I, I said what I felt needed to be said at the time and now we're looking forward to another big game for us, which we've earned the right to be in the competition. And, um, you know, we've got a, a big week ahead of us that we're, we're very much looking forward to. From your experience as both a player and a manager, what can a, a good European result do for, for a season overall? Uh, well, it's always, you know, very welcome. What I'm looking for is the performance first. Obviously, we'd like to, you know, win the game or get something out of the game. So that's been our whole focus over the past few days. In terms of the quality of, of Lille, you mentioned they're a very good squad, a Champions League squad. In essence, you look through the guys like Renato Sanchez and the players they've got as real dangers to you tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, they... They sort of rotate the squad a little bit in terms of domestic and European. If you look at the, the team from last week against Sparta, and they, they still came up with a, a very strong result in away from home 4 1. And, you know, they made changes, you know, domestically, they're right up there at the top of the league. So they made a great start to the season. Uh, and it doesn't surprise me with the, the quality they have and the strength and depth that they have. They play a different style than what we're used to, you know, almost like a 4 2 4. And they've got real good pace and power going forward. But like every team going forward, you know, they're going to have vulnerabilities elsewhere. Neil, you touched on it briefly earlier, but just how important is it to make sure you get a, a positive result and, and not, you know, start with two defeats in the, the group stage? Yeah, I mean, I think that goes to the question. You know, you want to win your home games and obviously we dropped points last week. So can, can we rebound? Can we bounce back in the... In the group. I think it's a great group. I think it's a great test for us. Um, I thought there was a lot uh, of encouragement second half against Milan where we took the game to them. And I'm looking for more of the same tomorrow. Um, I was pleased with a lot of aspects of the game at the weekend. So we just continue to build on that and look to improve. You talked about looking for the performance levels. What can a, a really good performance do for the confidence levels of the players if you manage to get that tomorrow night? Well, I don't see any sort of um, 
problem with their confidence. You know, a few of them are probably struggling with a little bit of form, and that's fine. You know, the group as a whole, you know, we're getting, you know, players back who have touched on earlier with Odson coming back and they're thinking Muir, you know, Ryan coming back, Albie, you know, he's over his injury issues, Griff making a contribution there as well. So we're starting to look a lot stronger again and we're going to need those players, you know, this week as we go forward um, because we've got two very difficult games. But all my focus is on this one. The team's ready, you know, we've prepared them as best we can and, yeah, we're looking forward to the game, but we know we're in a real f- tough game. But uh, if we get a positive result and, we, and we're well capable of that, then, you know, so be it. It'll be great. But what I'm looking for is a real good team performance. How important is it for the players just to, you know, completely put last week out of their mind and, and solely focus on these two big tasks ahead this week? Well, the, the players, you know, are, are used to that. You know, they're looking ahead rather than back. It's not them that keep reminding them of what happened last week. It's just other other areas and other sections. And um, so, you know, we, uh, we're we very tight. The, the unity is good in the team. Um, and the atmosphere has pleased me, you know. So even in a, in a difficult time and a difficult time away from the training ground and, you know, with the restrictions they have on them, you know, they, they seem to be in a, you know, pretty confident and lighthearted mood at the minute, which is great. So we're excited. I think um, we've worked hard to get into this position. We don't want to, you know, get too far away in the group. So it's important we get something out of the game. Neil, were you surprised to learn that Leo were in pot four when you did learn they were in pot four? Yeah, I mean, it's it's irrelevant. You know, when the group came out, I was delighted to see the the quality of opposition that we got. So, um, you know, Leo have been a very good, you know, top of the range French team for a long, long time. Um, I actually did a club visit here, you know, a few years ago, um, when they won the French league. I had a look around the place, you know, and the stadium was just about to be finished. Um, so I know a lot about the club and the, the culture of the club and what they do at academy level as well. So it's no surprise to me to see them doing so well. And um, we're ex- I think they're a very exciting team, but I think we've got players that can, you know, cause them a lot of trouble as well. At club, club visit, Neil, can you just expand on that? You just wanted to have a look at the setup there, or? Yeah, well, our, you know, our previous fitness coach, who, Gregory Dupont, was working there, and I asked, you know, could I go over and have a look around for a few days? Um, so I did, um, and it was great. I was there for three or four days. Beautiful town, and just looking at the training facility, and obviously the stadium is, is finished now. That was just about taking it off. And Gregory, he's gone on to work with the French national team in the World Cup, and um, he's working at, currently at Real Madrid. So it was a good experience, and you know, a club that I'm semi sort of familiar with, if you know what I mean. And they've, they've first spent the bucks as well, haven't they? Yeah, I think they've earned that. Though I think they're smart in the recruitment. You know, back in those days, you'd Ed and Hazard there, uh, Joe Cole. You know, I think they recruit well. Um, and they've got good strength and depth, and I think they've got a strong team again who have started the season very well. So it might be a difficult time to play them, but I think it's a real good challenge for us, and I think it's one that the players are looking forward to. You know, we described it as a, as a great group. Is this not one of the hardest groups in the competition? I mean, could it be a, like a Champions League group next, yeah, I think next so. season? I think well, Milano, Champions League quality, uh, Lille, Champions League quality. You know, Sparta have been Champions League, we've been Champions League. So you've got four very strong clubs in the one group. It's a bit like last year, you know, you had Lazio, Ren, Cluj, you know. Ren were going really well, Lazio were going well. Cluj gives teams plenty of problems. Um, so I think the group is open. I don't think there's a, a clear favourite in the group. Um, much is the same as last season as well. And does European progression still mean as much to you, or is it as important given what's at stake domestically? It's as important. You know, it's important for the players and important for the club. Neil, just on Odds and Edward coming back, um, how important or how much of a boost will it be for the players, first and foremost, to get their talisman back? Uh, it's great to have them back. You know, it's been. Um, Difficult for him, you know, and a frustrating little period for him as well. Um, so we're all delighted. Um, and we're just hoping, you know, he gets back to the form that he showed 
last season. You know what a player he is and what he's capable of. He hasn't really had the opportunity to play with some of the new guys, you know, the likes of Albion, you know, on a regular basis and, you know, get a partnership going or an understanding there. So, um, whilst he, you know, he may start or he may not start tomorrow, it's just great to have him back and, and ready to play at some capacity. And I think it gives all the players around him a lift. How much do you think you've been hindered this season by being unable to obviously field Edward and Griffiths together like you did after December last year? Well, I mean, you could say that about, you know, you know, a few of the players, you know, Julianne's been a loss and, you know, B. Tom was playing well, we lost him. But, yeah, when you when you got your mindset on, you know, maybe playing a three five two with a couple of strikers, you know, it's been a blow having the likes of Griff, the likes of Albie and obviously Odson, you know, missing from that sort of team lineup. But slowly but surely, you know, they're getting back to full fitness and back to form and, you know, it augurs well for the rest of the season. Just on uh, Lee Griffiths, has his contribution in recent weeks, has he sort of repaid you for obviously coming back in pre-season not fit to play? No, it's not a question of repaying. You know, um, we were disappointed with, you know, the, the condition he came back in and he's now back and, you know, he's contributing with the impact he's making in games and we know what a player he is and what a goal scorer he is. So we're very, very pleased. He doesn't need to repay me anything. He just needs to do his role, you know, really well, like he does year in, year out. You know, we've missed him. He missed his personality at times. He's, he's a brilliant finisher. So what I've got is another very good centre forward to go alongside the ones that we, we have. And um, I think he'll have an impact this season again. He'll have a say in a lot of the games, just like he did at the weekend. Uh, just lastly, just on Tom, Tom Rogic, um, he's obviously rekindled some, some form this season. How easy or difficult was it to get him to, to refocus in the summer after, obviously, that move to, to, to Qatar fell through? Yeah, I mean, that was Tom's first start, you know, so he's had, you know, it's not, it's not a question of, you know, his mindset not wanting to play. He's had ankle and, and knee problems. Um, he was at a specialist yesterday, you know, the, the specialist was pleased with the, the way the ankle had responded after he played 85 minutes at the weekend. It might be a bit of a push to ask him to start three games in a week so soon. But um, yeah, I, I think he's a wonderful player. Um, I think he adds just that little bit of difference to the team, a little bit of gal, a little bit of creativity at times. Uh, he's such a smart player. And, we, you know, it'd be great to get a run of games out of him. You know, um, he played a lot of 90 minutes for him under me last season. And then obviously the season was curtailed when he was in great form. It's been stop-start for him again with injury. And obviously the deal falling through, but yeah, he's back and you know fully focused, and, and hopefully we can keep him fit and and active because he again he's he's got that ability to create something out of nothing, which is what we want and what the fans want. Neil, just on Lee, obviously there's a lot of clamour for him to be back in the Scotland squad. Sometimes managers are reluctant to have a guy who's not long been back called up internationally, but in his case, would that be good for him in terms of potential game time and, and morale? How do you view it? Uh, it'll all depend on Steve, you know, and what, you know, Steve wants Lee in the squad. Um, you know, I, I have no qualms about him going away with Scotland and, and being part of it, but again, it's not my decision. You know, he's missed a lot of football, uh, a lot of international football, and Scotland have been quite successful recently, and you know, I think Steve's got his, maybe probably already has his mind made up on, on the strikers. But um, again, it'll be, it's a question you need to ask Steve rather than me. Neil, given Leo's result in Prague and the way they're playing in their own league and the amount of money they've spent, how significant would it be if you can get something tomorrow? Oh, it'd be brilliant. Yeah, I think it'd be a great a great result to come away with a positive result, whether we win or, or draw. You know, what, I don't really think, you know, defeat would give us a foothold in the group. We need to go there, be positive, you know, and um, they will, will have to suffer in the game, you know, in some moments, but the team's experienced enough to do that now, and I think we'll have opportunities to create our own chances. I'm looking for, you know, a solid away performance, and I've got plenty of those last season, and in some cases this season as well. Um, but we're up against a good side, and, you know, there's no getting away from that. But we are a good side as well and cause any team problems. I'm just wondering if it might take a, a Rome-like display. Maybe. 
Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't know if Lille are in that sort of form yet. The Lazio were at that time, but um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a big club in France, you know, and they've got quality players, but we're looking forward to the challenge and I don't think anyone should underestimate us at all.